YouTube. It's cracking, man. We're here with another video. It's uh, Friday, February. Friday, February the 9th. Don't quote me on that. I ain't got my watch. You know what I'm saying? But it's probably about 7 a.m. right now. For sure. Got a late start to the morning. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? My video wouldn't upload again. Like, the processing time be crazy, bro. Then I end up falling asleep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, I uploaded that joint at like 2 in the morning or something like that. Go check it out. Uh,. Yeah, it's up there, go check it out, you know what I'm saying, I'm still showing up, I can't, you know, change the processing speed, I'm only using the iPhone, you dig, so, you gotta bear with me, you know what I'm saying, we in this thing, we in this thing, but look, uh, hit that like button, share this video to somebody, hey, y'all really starting to share these videos, I'm getting more shares than likes, which is crazy, um, so if you talking shit, you know, you, you really advertising me, so I appreciate you. Cheers. Cheers, motherfucker. Yeah, so, uh, look. Fridays is always more exciting. You know what I'm saying? Fridays is exciting because you get paid more on Fridays. You get your check on Fridays. You know what I'm saying? Everybody getting ready to go out, do what they do. You know what I'm saying? probably not working out over the weekend or something like that um you know you just start to get ready for your rest day take some time off which is understandable you know what I'm saying especially on Saturday Saturday everybody should be chilling everybody nobody should be working on Saturday um but you know everybody can't hold that part hold their part up to it so Ain't no slight to you, you know what I'm saying? Do your shit, do whatever you gotta do. But I said that because I think that's where I fall short, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people spend time talking about what others is doing and what others ain't doing. But you know, sometimes I fall short, you know, over the weekend, uh, which is deserving, you know what I mean? But if I really wanna, uh, where I want to be, you know, I got to really try to control that, because I'm pushing like a monster during the weekday, pushing like a monster, feel like a monster, but when that weekend come around, you know what I'm saying, when that weekend come around, you know, the discipline kind of like, get a little iffy there. You know what I'm saying? The workouts ain't as hard. You know what I'm saying? Sleeping in a little later, eating a little different. You're not working as hard or you're not working at all, depending on who you is. Now, over time, you'll still get the results. But it just means more work for you. More work for me. Now, if I would have been consistent from start to now on the weekends, I probably would have already been where I wanted to be. So cool, I'm good with that. The work that I do now is, man, I'm, I'm fine where I'm at. You know, I don't really got no complaints. But if you're somebody out there that's looking to get the results faster um, with less work attached to it, you definitely got to train yourself and pace yourself to be consistent throughout the full week so you basically really not taking any breaks depending on your situation it might be easy you know what I'm saying or you gotta try to uh, create a scenario where you're able to actually, you know, get that work in. You know, for all of us, or some of us that have kids, you know, it's not really, um, the 
easy task, you know what I'm saying, like, to really get a workout in. Um, because, you know, they want to do what they want to do. They want to play games. They want to watch TV. They want to go to the park. They want to ride their bike. They want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. They want to go eat, you know what I mean? So, and I don't want to be one of those parents. I mean, of course, he's on my program, you know what I'm saying? Like, he going to eat whatever I tell him to eat. You know what I'm saying? He going to work out if I tell him to work out. Um, even though he only six, you know what I'm saying? But we still, we still getting it in. But it's, it's like, I don't want to be those parents, one of those parents, which is, I got like a love hate relationship for those people. <coughs> because you do put your, your kids to, <coughs> uh, they do push their kids to success. But you kind of like miss out on being a kid. You know what I mean? Um, and I've seen it on both sides of the fence to where uh, people not really having the parents to push them and they just live this great childhood. And most of the times they do kind of turn out to be pretty decent adults, you know? And then the ones that seem to have the parents that were on their ass about their sports and you know what I mean, shit like that. They, they become decent adults too because they had, you know, guidance and stuff, but they missed out on their childhood and they have that that void that's, they had this empty feeling within them because they were, uh, they missed out on that section of their life. So then they start to try to relive that as adults and then it's kind of like, you know. Now don't get me wrong, everybody doesn't have this experience, but like I said, I've seen on both sides. So, uh, <clears throat> You know, I try to keep them balanced for now. I don't really believe in balance. You know what I'm saying? I believe if you're going hard, go hard. If you're not, you're not. If not, you're just wasting your time. <clears throat> Damn. Um. Yeah, I don't believe in balance, man. But for kids. Sure, man, you know, you just want to really introduce it to him. You know what I'm saying? That's really what I try to do. So he'll ask me to hit the gym, we'll go to the gym. I don't really try to force him to do anything. He'll just go around from workout to workout, walk on the treadmill, you know, until he, he you know, his, he changes his mind about what he wants to do or he gets tired. Then he'll take his phone and go sit down and then let me work out. But then at the same time, I don't want him to just be sitting there, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't get him as much as I would like, so I, I'd rather have that time um, spent, you know, doing something with him or just kicking it with him. But, um, yeah, man, I definitely need to tighten up on the, uh, on the weekends, man. Try to uh, really lock back in on it. So I'm, I'm gonna figure something out. We gonna put it like that. I'm gonna figure something out. We gonna tighten this thing up. And uh, we just gonna keep pushing, bro. So, it's, it's a good motherfucker Friday. We about to finish out this week strong. Um, don't forget to drink y'all water, hydrate, take y'all supplements. You know what I'm saying? Get to motherfucking work <clears throat> early. Be one of the first ones there if you can. Prep everything you can prep. Do what you need to do to win the day. Uh, stay tuned for me. Yeah, man, that's another thing. Like, it's hard for me to shoot videos when I got him, too. But I'm gonna just have to, like, stay up late and try to rock out. I'll be tired as hell. I'm gonna see what I can do, man. I'm gonna see what I can do. Um, at least post, you know, one or two videos. And if not, like, videos like this, then maybe when we out and about, maybe a vlog. I try to do a vlog, but vlogging is, is super weird, bro. I don't know, it's just, it's not that it's weird, it's that I forget, you know, I really be in the moment, so, like, I, I started a vlog last week when I was at the house, once I left the house, I forgot, you know, and we doing all kind of shit, and I'm not recording nothing, then I'm like, damn, before I got home, I'm like, damn, I'm supposed to be shooting a vlog, missed the whole day, bro, so, uh, you know, I just gotta try to get in the act or in the, in the uh, mindset of pulling the camera out keeping the camera out. But it's like, you really take yourself out the moment. You know what I mean? I don't know, I gotta kinda figure that portion out too. 
Hey, it's all good though. It's all love. Y'all stay up. Keep supporting. I appreciate y'all. Till next time, I'm out.